Yo, everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export stems or track outs, you may know them as, in Studio 1.5. So, this is going to be especially important for you if you want to send your song to an engineer or someone who's mixing your song or mastering your song or what have you. And yeah, if you want to send your song to someone else, you probably need stems, yeah? very very straightforward and if you're making beats in studio one this is going to be very very useful for you if you want to upload your beats to someone like beat stars and you want to allow your customers to have the stems or track outs of your beats okay now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter Ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving all right so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now my question of the day is what are you doing in studio one are you producing or are you recording songs let me know because i use studio one to record songs so i don't know if there are people who are just out here using studio one to produce but it does look like it has some great production features that honestly i haven't used at all so it'll be very interesting to see how people use studio one from a producing mindset so this is going to be a very very straightforward very very easy video okay all you need to know in order to export your stems or your track outs in studio one is you need to go to song up here on the top left then you want to go to export stems that's where it is and then here you can actually choose the channels now you can choose either the channels or the tracks I would personally use the channels because each of my tracks do go to channels and the channels is where I'm actually, my channels are on the mixer basically. So everything with all my effects is on the actual mixing channel. So, ah, I forgot, I did try to mute these things, but I don't know if they are actually muted. Let me actually go, yeah, they are muted right now. Let's actually unmute those. And then let's go back. So song, export stems. There we go. Now nothing's unmuted and we can just select or select all, select active, select none and all that sort of stuff, great stuff. Generally, you're gonna wanna select all, yeah? And honestly, with our beat track, because we're not using that, we wanna select active because we have the stems of my actual beat track over here. Now, here you have a few different options. If you want to have the stems without the effects, so no effects, you want it to be absolutely dry, you want the mixer to do their own thing from the ground up, you want to use the tracks, okay? That's how that works, if you just want that. If you want your effects, then you want to use the channel. So that's how it works. If you want to use the channels, that's with your mixer and all your mixer effects. If you want no effects, you want everything to be dry, use the tracks. That's that. Now, we're going to use channels because I like to have my effects if I'm mixing something down to stems and all that sort of stuff. Resolution, I would say move it to 24 bit. There's really no reason to have it on 16 bit and have it in WAV. Then we can change the name of the you know file name prefix. Let's change this to 100 stems. Then we can pick a place to actually place this. And I will actually bounce this out because this is really the first time I'm actually bouncing some stems because I don't send my songs to anyone else. I just mix them myself. So this is going to be interesting. Let's just create a new folder. Like there's no point going through my folders and doing all that sort of long stuff. So let's do this. We're gonna choose our Studio One Stems folder. I would generally actually create a folder for this particular song. I don't know if it automatically does that, but let's see. Let's select that folder. And then we could use real-time processing, which will just make sure that we don't get any audio glitches. But a lot of the time you won't get audio glitches even if you don't use real-time processing. So we're just gonna do it without real-time processing because we're not actually going to use this and it's just gonna save us some time. So let's go to okay right about now. Now you can obviously change the start and end time and all that sort of stuff. If you watch my video on how to import export your song, there's a lot of the similar options right over here so i'm not going to go over that but the easiest way to do this is to just set a loop range that you want your song to be in and then click okay so 
our stems are ready and this is how they came out so honestly why does it say 100 stems after all this sort of stuff oh because these are actually stems my bad <laughs> i totally forgot these are the stems to the beat so we'll have our name you know and then stems and then you have everything after that so that's how it comes out that's how you export stems remember to create a new folder for that <laughs> otherwise you're just gonna have a bunch of stems just sitting around but that's how it's done if you want your vocals to be half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage grab my spotify ready vocal mixing template link down below go to jcartaray.com forward slash vocal templates that's going to help you out a lot it also comes with my pdf that shows you all the settings that i use to mix my songs so you can use this pdf and use my same settings even if you don't want to use the same plugins that i use but i do suggest using the same plugins because they will give you a different sound okay and honestly i like the sound that these plugins give me so you might want to use those as well now if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out